Hi, this is Soft Cell Electrical, and I'm your host, John. Welcome to episode number 9. This video covers article 210, which is branch circuits. It excludes branch circuits on motor loads and specific purpose branch circuits listed in table 210.2. Let's get started. Article 210.3 identifies the rating for general branch circuits as being 15, 20, 30, 40, and 50 amps. Amperages of 60 amps or greater will determine the circuit rating. Make a note of this fact. A circuit breaker or overcurrent device is not the same as a circuit rating. In some cases, the main service panel can act as a circuit rating, but typically the term is used in industrial applications for very high voltages and amperages. Article 210.4, paragraph A. Multi-wire branch circuits are acceptable under this article. All multi-wire branch circuits must originate from the same distribution equipment. Examples of this would be a dishwasher disposal circuit. This circuit not only requires that both legs originate from the same panel, but the two circuits are powered by a two-pole breaker. The same applies to a multi-wire circuit originating from a three-phase panel. A three-phase air conditioner requires the use of a three-pole breaker. 210.4 paragraph B. Multi-wire circuits will have a disconnect means for ungrounded conductors at the source of the circuit. This subsection just points out that on multi-wire circuits a single unit breaker must be used. Article 210.4 section C. Simplified, this means that a multi-wire circuit is not the same as a two-pole 240 volt circuit or a three-wire circuit exceeding 120 volts. It strictly applies to independent 120 volt circuits that use a common grounded conductor or neutral to complete two or more 120 volt circuits. Section 210.4 paragraph D. Multi-wire circuits will be grouped by cable or zip ties within the panel. Article 210.5 paragraph A. Identification of grounded conductors or neutrals will comply with article 200.6. We're going back to the color code for neutrals code. Article 210.5 paragraph C subsection 3. The labeling of grounded conductors will be readily available or permanently posted in the same panel. This means that they will be labeled for phase, voltage, and amperage. Okay, we just covered about the first third of Article 210. And we now have a true or false question section. It consists of 10 questions because I don't want to overload you. 210 is a very important part of this book. So we start. Question 1. True or false. Article 210 covers residential branch circuits and small motors. Number 2. Article 210.3 applies to these amperages. 15, 20, 30, 40 and 50 amps. Question 3. Article 210.3 exception. A circuit breaker or overcurrent device is the same as a circuit rating. Question 4. 210.4 section A. Multi-wire branch circuits can originate from two or more sources. Question 5. 210 Point four, paragraph B. Multi-wire branch circuits must use two or three pole breakers depending on the number of circuits. Question 6. 210.4 
Paragraph C. Multiwire circuits must have a disconnect for non-grounded conductors at the source of the circuit. Question 7. 210.4 Paragraph C. A multiwire circuit can be in excess of 120 volts to ground. Question 8. 210.4 Paragraph D. Multiwire circuits must be grouped together using wire connectors or zip ties within the panel. Question 9. 210.5 Paragraph A. Identification of grounded conductors is not needed once they are terminated in the panel. Last question, 10. 210.5, paragraph C, subsection 3. The labeling of grounded conductors must be available within the panel. That concludes the first third of article 210. Well, that just about wraps up this episode. Thanks for watching, and have a great day.